Hi, welcome back to my channel. I did this really wild thing yesterday and I put it up on YouTube and somebody told me it was terrible. It could be, it could be absolutely terrible, but it is a trial. I am a landscape painter and I tried something new in my studio yesterday and I thought, here, here's my thoughts on this. I thought it would be a fun take on abstract. I kind of called it pine tree and waterfall. So you can kind of see where I was going with it. It was fun. I did have a good time. It is nowhere near done. When I came in today, acrylics dry, darker. When I came in today, it's kind of all kind of medium tone and it's got some push and pull. So I, I, I'm i going to work on it. I, I'm going to see if I can make this something that I'm super proud of or if this is gonna be something that ends up in the basement and is uncovered when I die as the long lost or never know, never seen before abstracts of Julia Veenstra or the one and only abstract by Julia Veenstra. I'm gonna pop in the video here, my little um, vertical reel that I did of me painting it. So take a look. <laughs> Okay, what did you think? Did you did you like like it? When I when I rewatch the video, there's stages where I'm like, oh, oh, I like that. You lost it. So that must be how abstract artists maybe work. Maybe there's things that they lose when they paint over something, or or that they wish they had not painted over. If you're an abstract painter, let me know. But I think there's potential. I'm not going to give up. However, the interesting thing as an artist is that you take a long time. You take a journey to develop your lane. You have imagery that people recognize. You have paintings that they say, that's a Julia Veenstra. And you have clientele that kind of expects something. And of course, they want you to grow and evolve. And paintings from 10 years ago for me are very different than what they are now. But they have the same thumbprint, same fingerprints, and the same DNA. This one, I'm wondering, can I do abstract with the same DNA? I imagine if I use the same colors, it could be recognized as, you know, a color scheme that I have, um, but I don't know. But it made me feel vulnerable and it made me feel like uh, that, that if I show it, I'm going to be judged or something like that. Isn't, isn't it interesting as an artist how we want to be admired and, and our work loved and collected and we're afraid to stray even just a little bit in case we lose it all. We lose, we lose all of our following, we lose everything because we've got a direction that doesn't matter, that they, that they don't like. <laughs> it does matter. But I thought, I'm challenged by this. I'm, I'm seeing it, you know, in the video. I'm, I, I don't mind the color balance because I do understand color and balance, but now it's tonal a little bit and maybe pattern and maybe I need to vary the stroke width and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to adjust it because when I paint, I like to paint on a fresh canvas. I like the feel of fresh canvas. I do layer, but it's not, um, you know, with great big, huge textures underneath. I dreamt even last night about, do I sand off areas to get that back? I don't know. I don't know where this painting is going and it may end up in my basement, as I said. And when I die, my children follow it, find it and say, what the heck were you thinking, mom? If you like, if you'll, if you'd like to follow along <laughs> and see what I do sometimes, I, I might make a YouTube um, abstract 
series. And maybe I, maybe I will. Maybe I, I videotape every time I try uh, an abstract and throw that in as something in my living and working artfully YouTube channel. Let me know if you like the idea. Let me know if you'd, you'd be interested. Let me know if you're an abstract artist and you um, can give me some tips. Let me know if you're a collector and maybe you want this wonderful first of Julia Beanstra. <laughs> anyway, it, I want to have fun in my studio this year. I want to have a lot of fun. I want to challenge myself. Um, maybe you do too. Maybe you don't like the idea of feeling vulnerable when you're working, but maybe it's an important place to be. So as I evaluate my new year and my goals for my new year, I don't just want them to be, you know, gallery oriented or financially oriented. I want growth as part of it. So come along, grow with me, subscribe, like the video, hit the bell for notifications so you see when I put up something crazy. But I want to hear your thoughts. And uh, to the person that told me that it was terrible, I, I hear you. <laughs> I don't necessarily agree that it's terrible. I think, I think it has some work to do. And uh, see you in the next video.